Hi, this is John, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about a push button controlled stepper motor. Let's flip the switch and get started. This button turns the motor on and off. Off, on. These two buttons control the direction of the motor. This one's counterclockwise, this one's clockwise. These two push buttons control the speed of the motor. This one's faster. This one is slower. This push button resets the motor to its uh, initial conditions, to its start state, clockwise rotation at a certain speed. Now to talk about this push button, I'm gonna have to do some basic explaining. So at a very, very basic level, this stepper motor is eight magnets and the motor locks to each one of those magnets to make a revolution of the motor. Now we can make a lock with each one of the eight, or it can skip every other magnet and make a lock with just four of those magnets. So it has a choice to make eight locks or four locks. If it makes four locks, it goes faster because it's skipping half the magnets. And if it makes eight locks, it goes slower because it has to make contact with each one of those magnets. So right now, it's making lock with four magnets, eight magnets. It's going slower. Four magnets, going faster. Eight magnets going slower. Now, we're going to go ahead and talk about this LED for a second. This is what I call my Vincent Vega LED, and I'll get to that in a second. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this stepper motor. We're going to try to make it go as fast as it can. There's my Vincent Vega LED. It, it lets me know when my stepper motor's in the red. And you just don't want to mess with the stepper motor in the red. That's all I'm saying. Because um, what happens when the stepper motor is going as fast as it can, making locks with each one of the magnets, but it comes to a point where it will go too fast and it's going to miss a lock. And that's what this red LED lets us know. That it's about as fast as it can go before it loses control. And it's the motor spinning too fast to make locks with the magnets. And so you can't, can't change direction. If you turn it off and then turn it on, it's just, the, the motors are just spinning too fast to make contact with the magnet. So you go ahead and reset it. And finally, this is my hardware reset. Goes ahead and resets everything so we can start from the beginning. Start. Stop. Now, for all you serious people out there, um, this motor is the 28BYJ-48 5 volt stepper motor. And when I was messing with it, using half stepping and pushing it until it hits the Vincent Vega LED, until it goes as fast as it can, I got it to about 1.9 seconds per revolution, you know. If you go ahead and, uh, and take your stopwatch on your phone and click it every time it hits one of these holes, it's about 1.9, uh, 1.8 to 2, it's about 1.8 to 2 seconds, depending on how much I tweak it. So I'd like to know how fast any of you can get the stepper motor to go. Um, this is John. There's the Vincent Vega LED, and I'd like to let you know. Hope you liked the video. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments. Have a good one.